if the New York Islanders drafted right in the 2000 NHL Draft. In the 2000 NHL Draft, the New York Islanders made two huge draft mistakes. They had two top five picks and wasted them on players that didn't pan out. Despite already having Roberto Luongo, Mike Melbury decided to draft Rick DiPietro first overall. After the selection of Rick DiPietro, Mike Melbury decided that Roberto Luongo was expandable and traded him. When Rick DiPietro did not live up to expectations, it made the Roberto Luongo trade look even worse. Rafi Torres was selected with the 5th overall pick. He's not exactly a franchise changing player either. In order to change the fortunes for this Islanders team, you must first fire Mike Milbury. With Milbury gone, it's safe to say that they would definitely have picked different players. But if the New York Islanders drafted right in the 2000 NHL draft, how would it affect the Islanders, the NHL? The answer is, a lot. Instead of picking Rick DiPietro with a first overall pick, the New York Islanders select Danny Heatley. Danny Heatley is the best pure scorer in this draft, and is probably the best player in this draft as well. He gives them a pure goal scorer in this lineup. Atlanta Thrashers select Marion Gabrick with the second pick now that Danny Heatley's gone. The Minnesota Wilds select Scott Hartnell with the third pick. With the fifth pick, the New York Islanders select Nick Cronwall, who is a real solid top four defenseman. Nashville Predators select Justin Williams with the sixth pick now that Scott Hartnell is gone. Calgary Flames select Rick DiPietro with the eighth pick. Pick 28, the Philadelphia Flyers select Henrik Lundqvist since Justin Williams is already gone. Henrik Lundqvist wasn't taken until the seventh round in this draft, but because this draft isn't very deep, he is almost the best player at this point. Detroit Red Wings select Paul Martin at pick 29 with Nicholas Cronwell gone. New Jersey Devils select Lubomir Vishnovsky at pick 62. LA Kings select John Michael Lyles at pick 118. Colorado Avalanche select Roman Chekmanic at pick 159. Paul Gostad is selected with pick 171 by the Philadelphia Flyers. The New York Islanders are much improved coming out of this draft compared to what they had originally. Pete Lee and Cromwell is an upgrade over DiPietro and Torres. Philadelphia Flyers got much better with the addition of Henrik Lundqvist and Paul Gostad. New York Rangers are the biggest losers in this draft as they lost their future franchise goalie in Henrik Lundqvist. Minnesota Wild also suffered as they cannot replace Marion Gabbard with the player they drafted. Had the New York Islanders drafted right in the 2000 NHL Draft, they would have had two key players to build upon. What if the New Jersey Devils had the first overall pick in the 1984 Draft? 